students. So, and they also realized that with technology-enabled education, e-learning, you could have cross-border education. You could have people in different countries working together learning, and that this was certainly something that would improve uh, uh, countries, people getting to know each other and under, understanding each other. So all of these things are the main values of LINK. And, um, uh, and these early adapters, I will call them, these pioneers, many of whom came from the Middle East, they accepted and, and, and celebrated these same values of MIT Link. Now, uh, MIT Link does many things. We have conferences, we also have projects, and we, have, uh, we encourage collaborations between the co members. We've had some major collaborations between Me universities in Mexico and in China, and also in Pakistan and in universities in Africa and other collaborations. And um, as I say, uh, this is uh, one, of, uh, one of our early uh, conferences at MIT in 2004. <laughs> I keep doing that. Uh, and uh, speaking of collaboration, there was an interesting collaboration at that conference in 2004. Um, this is um, Fuad El Harrison, who is a physicist who works in a, a research lab in the Gaza, and he spoke at the 2004 conference. And he was talking, his speech was saying how much they needed distance education and e-learning in the Gaza. And at that conference were many other educators from the Middle East region. I think we had about eight or nine there. And over the course of talking to him and at a conference just like this, discussing what was needed, they all decided to collaborate on a, a, a cross-border project that they would do together. And they, um, they decided that the best place to intervene was at the high school level, math and science because all of them were working in universities and they were seeing that the quality of the high school students coming in, the math and science was very low. So they felt right? that they would like to do a cross-border collaboration around math and science for high school. And it was called the Middle East Project at that time, but it actually, over four years, that vision of these collaborators from the Middle East actually evolved into the Blossoms Project, which you'll hear about more later today. Dr. Murray, one more minute. Pardon, one more minute? You have one more minute. Oh, okay. Oh, dear. Okay, well, we had a, <laughs> we had a, pro a, a conference that was very exciting in uh, Jordan. I'll go through these very fast. Queen Rania was our patron, and uh, we had over 100 math and science uh, high school teachers there. And we had various speakers, <laughs> and we had our big celebration. And it was it was by located also in Dubai, and um, uh, Sheikh Maktoun uh, was uh, Rashid Maktoun was the patron there, and different other people. And I'll just uh, go to our most recent conference at Sa uh, which was uh, in this past May, and we had a wonderful speaker from Saudi Aramco, Mohammed El Salimi, and. Uh, he talked about the resources that, um, and the, the education that Saudi Aramco provides and all the services that they provide to their workers and to the country. And I, I just guess I'll have to end on the fact that um, he, he, so many people came up to his table after he spoke and I was sitting there and they were so impressed from various countries around the world how much Saudi Aramco does for its workers and for the country and they said why don't companies in our country do that and uh, so anyway I had a lot of other things but <laughs> in closing I guess I would like to say that in Dubai they tried to make sense of what was going on with distance education in the Middle East and what they, we've been working on since then, and it took four years for Blossoms, is they would like MIT to collaborate on a research cent center with the Middle East into distance teaching and learning, where, where standards would be set up, because they found that there are many programs here, but there's nobody able to do the research to determine which programs are working well, and, and what works well, and what doesn't. 
and I thank you.